In the dark dawn of November 20, 1967, a company of the U.S. Army faces a deadly challenge as it ascends the steep slope of Hill 875, in a remote district of the Vietnamese highlands. Visibility is nearly zero, limited to one meter. A scenario that foreshadows the tension and horror. As they move towards their positions for a crucial relief, the soldiers stumble upon obstacles that at first glance seem to be harmless sacks scattered on the ground. However, at dawn, a shocking revelation awaits them. The sacks are actually the bodies of their comrades fallen the previous day, brutally looted after a violent confrontation. This horrifying scene is just the beginning of one of the bloodiest and most decisive battles of the Vietnam War. Join us on this journey through time to discover the details and outcome of this confrontation that marked a turning point in U.S. military history. Are you ready to face the harsh reality of war and its deep imprints on humanity? On the tense morning of the second day of combat, a company of brave American soldiers once again faces the arduous task of recapturing the strategic hill during the Vietnam War. With each step, the company implements a tactic of attrition, facing not only the enemy but also the very nature of the terrain and the aftermath of a conflict that has left deep marks on the landscape and in the souls of those who fight. Who will achieve victory in this brutal confrontation and at what costs? In the sweltering summer of 1967, the dividing line between North and South Vietnam became a volatile battlefield. The bold incursions of the North Vietnamese Army in the highlands of the Control Province continually challenged U.S. forces, leading to intense and persistent confrontations. General William Pierce, in charge of the defense, was forced to establish blocking positions in the face of unstoppable enemy infiltration. The proximity of the adversary drastically restricted the use of close air support, a crucial tactic for the Americans, which heightened the tension and the need for a more forceful response. Faced with increasing pressure, Pierce requested reinforcements, culminating in the launch of Operation Grill on June 17. This massive effort involved elements of the 4th Infantry Division and two battalions of the 173rd Airborne Brigade, along with forces from the Army of the Republic of Vietnam, all mobilized to sweep the dense mountain jungle. In mid-1967, the intensity of the Vietnam War escalated to unprecedented levels. The fighting intensified until mid-August, when the North Vietnamese Army, in a deceptive move, appeared to retreat. However, U.S. intelligence soon discovered that this retreat was merely a ruse. Entire regiments were regrouping in hidden areas, preparing for a major operation. In response, the United States launched Operation MacArthur, focusing its efforts on the border provinces with Cambodia and Laos, becoming key scenarios of what would be known as the border battles. But what was the strategic importance of this region? Dato, the locality in question, was not just a geographic point on the map. It was the crucial base of operations for the Matson Special Operations Group, tasked with intercepting vital information about the Ho Chi Minh Trail. This route, used by the Northern Army to supply its forces and the Viet Cong, was the lifeline of the guerrilla war being waged in the south. In the dense and enigmatic jungle near the Cambodian border, the North Vietnamese Army carried out a strategy that seemed to focus on the mere annihilation of military camps. However, behind this facade lay a much more sophisticated and bold plan devised by the High Command in Hanoi. Their real objective was to manipulate the mobilizations of U.S. forces and their Vietnamese allies, pushing them towards the borders and creating an opportunity for the Viet Cong to regain control over the civilian population. This movement was just the first phase of a strategy aimed at culminating in a major offensive that would change the course of the war. In response to this latent threat, the United States' reaction was monumental. Within the framework of Operation MacArthur, they deployed an impressive force of 16,000 men, including the 4th Infantry Division and the 173rd Airborne Brigade. Supported by 15 artillery batteries and a tactical air power deployment provided by the A-4 Skyhawks and A-1 Skyraiders, these formidable forces faced off against four regiments of the North Vietnamese Army, comprising a total of 7,000 men. The combat that began on November 3 was brutal and fought in the relentless terrain of the central hills of Vietnam, a merciless land accessed through steep limestone ridges, some of which exceed 1,200 meters. The Acto Valley, covered by a jungle of thick trees topped by triple canopies rising 30 meters above the ground, is home to vines, thorns, snakes, leeches, and a monumental number of mosquitoes. The climate and terrain favored the enemy, 
especially in terms of the limitations of close air support visibility. The centerpiece of the battle was the 110-hour fight for Hill 875 and was the costliest of the entire war. On the morning of the first day, three American companies comprising 330 men were ambushed in the first attempt to secure the position. Private First Class Carlos Losada manned the rear position of the M60 Machine Gun Company and secured the retreat before he was gunned down. At 1858, one of the worst friendly fire incidents of the Vietnam War occurred when an A-4 Skyhawk Marine fighter bomber piloted by Lt. Richard Timer dropped two 225kg Mark 81 Snake Eye bombs on the location where the combined command groups and medical facilities were located, killing 42 men instantly and injuring 45 more, including the general commander on the scene, Capt. Harold Kaufman. The next morning, the three companies were chosen to relieve the men on Hill 875 due to the terrain and the intense sniper and mortar fire from the Popular Army. The relief force took until dusk to reach the besieged battalion. The gruesome scenes already narrated belong to the end of that terrible day. On the afternoon of November 21, both battalions mobilized to take the summit during fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat. Some of the Allied paratroopers managed to reach the North Vietnamese trench line but were ordered to withdraw when night fell. The entire battalion was redistributed and took positions around the main base of fire support in less than 12 hours. The next day, aerial attacks and heavy artillery bombardments were launched against the summit, sweeping it completely. On November 23, they were ordered to resume their assault, and upon taking the summit, the Allies noticed that the enemy had already abandoned their positions leaving behind only a few dozen charred bodies. The final days on Hill 875 were the epilogue of a violent battle that lasted 33 days, costing 432 lives, injuring 1,770, and leaving 33 missing. The loss of life in the North Vietnamese Army was approximately four times greater. In a strictly military sense, the fight was a victory. August 1968 marked a turning point in the Vietnam War with the ambitious Tet Offensive carried out by Communist forces. Although this offensive did not achieve its military objectives, it unleashed a series of unforeseen and profound consequences. The response and the results revealed that a U.S. victory was far from attainable, prompting a dramatic shift in public perception of the war. This growing disenchantment culminated in a decrease in public support and pressured the U.S. government to seek a negotiated end to the prolonged conflict. This episode in history not only reflects the complexities and challenges of combat but also how events on the battlefield can powerfully influence politics and public opinion. Was the Vietnam War a lost battle from the start for the United States? This debate continues to this day. We invite you to dive into the discussion, share your opinion, and reflect on how surreal a war can be, just like the impenetrable jungle where it was fought. Do not forget to subscribe and activate notifications to not miss more stories and analysis of the moments that have shaped global military history. We appreciate your company on this journey through the events that have left an indelible mark on history. Are you ready to continue exploring? Leave your comment below and join the conversation.